Last time on Savendi, our intrepid heroes came back to Aaron City and got to talk to some gods. And your quest log was updated with an extremely large quest. Here you go. Yeah, we kind of did. Hmm. You did a thing and basically plotted out the rest of the campaign, so that was nice. Yeah, uh, the eternal trip to sick. The eternal trip to save the world. And now there's a giant, horrible pink line across my world map that's basically never going to go away. So that's also no. nice. Sorry. You brought this upon yourself. I did. I like that. I like how the 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 quest that will allow uh, Mary and Kresha to see through the whole thing, the whole thing to the end, because they're going to have their their pregnancies accelerated is the very last one to do. Mm -hmm. Wait, it wasn't... Weren't you guys going to uh, Kinar's thing first? No. Or second? Yes. Yeah, it's right up there at Dragon's Rest. Literally on our way there. Am I thinking of the wrong quest? Hang on. I think you are, yeah. Yeah, the We're... stuff at Air Vainen is the last thing you're doing, which is for Lanen. There was something there for Kanara as well. Yes, that something is involving it. harpies. Uh, oh yes, yes, that's right. Uh, she suggested that. Oh, um, yes. Okay. Right. Now we're now now I remember. Uh, so there is a group of harpies on Air Vainen who. Uh, have some sort of breeding magic that will allow for pregnancy acceleration. Alright, yeah. Fuck. Um, we can always magic circle up to Ervain and, and then just magic circle immediately back again. Did you forget saving? Did I forget what? My sword. No, I was in the middle of the recap. Oh, we're still recapping? Yeah, that, yes. that's what this conversation was. Pay attention. We were talking about going place. <coughs> well, yeah, because about... that's the entire recap is about this horrific pink line that is where you're going. Fuchsia, okay? It's the Fuchsia, pink. it's not freaking pink. Oh my god. Pink. Okay, you know what? <laughs> you know what? Now it's cyan. Suck my dick. Oh god, it's such an awful color. Uh, you, you don't like cyan? How about bright red? There you yes. Go. Yeah, that'll work. No, it, it can be the red uh, line of fate. Mm -hmm. If there was a red, setting to red. make turn it to turn it automatically into a dotted line, it would be fucking A plus. Sadly, there is not. Indeed. That shit would be the best. I'd be making Indiana Jones noises the whole time. Do, 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 but do. I digress. All right. Uh, so yes, the last thing you guys did was completely circumvent uh, Wovar's quest by turning Haskin Mordenson into his mom yep. uh, to get a horrific spanking and disable the threat of thermonuclear war forever and ever. I mean, yeah. you hope. that was good. That was a good use of, of our It was a thermonuclear war. It was literally a fucking, what's it called, extinction level event. Mm. I mean, you've got to be like, I imagine that she is at the same time as being very angry that he created an extinction event, also kind of a little bit proud. Not uh, that she would ever admit she, it to him, but, you know. She was <laughs> proud that, she, that he made the biggest fucking bomb in the world. She was not proud of the fact that he developed and cont uh, sorry, continued to develop it and then threatened the world. I mean, he didn't threaten the world. Him. He just we sold it to the Elven We literally had this queen. conversation already. Like, verbatim. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. You did that, and in so doing... Hi, Tasha. You uh, earned the favor of the Sun God, and you cashed that in to make Zanza's sword, which was shit, into a good sword. Yay. Huh. And so, behold. Uh, as Wovar takes the sword into his divine bosom and implants a tiny spark of his majesty into it. Boop. Okay. 
Okay, much better. <laughs> That's kind of crazy, actually. I do. I like that it's a uh, sort of a weird Azamar blade at the same time. Yeah, it just slowly lights you on fire from the inside. Oh wait, this is actually horrible. <laughs> what? I'm Sansa. I run away from people. I'm never within five feet of enemies. Well, now you're resistant to damage, so nut up, princess. Not magical. Yeah. Which is the majority and of physical damage. The yeah. majority of most damage types. And if it isn't doing, if it's doing magical damage, it probably doesn't matter if you're next to them or not, does it? I mean, it does if they're using a magical weapon. Oh, don't be a dangus. <laughs> <laughs> There's like one type of person who it matters. That you're Why do I feel like we run into magical range. damage so much? Like you don't, I don't though. know. You don't. You I don't. feel. I if, fine. I'm wrong. That's because you're biased. <laughs> you're very, very biased. Okay, Peter. Um, I want hmm. you to go over there, and read the effects. I did. What does it say at the end of the effect? Yeah. Resistance to non-magical physical damage. No, 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 above, above the first sentence part. Say that there. Next, great sword, plus one damage. Deal slashing, or... Oh, I didn't read that part. Already. Oh, that. look at fucking that. You're literally carrying a fucking sun blade, dude. Yeah, okay, and also, sense. you know, every round that you're next to, I don't know, all of the undead mooks that don't do magical physical damage, they all die. Look, you had me at Sunblade. Mm. All you needed was a Dark Souls 3 reference, and I'm, I'm Gucci. Mm. I mean, that is kind of how I operate the entirety of Bork, so I won't blame you there. Dude, how about this? Uh, if I can uh, get terrorism on you, I can get at least 50% of that stuff. Or 100%. I want... So what I get? Alright, so... Keen of mutterings in the background. Just some, uh, some... Ow, <laughs> gosh, please. Bro. Once you have your new sword in hand, what is the party going to do? Do you have any uh, business left minute. to take care of in Aaron City, or would you care to depart? Um... I have some last-minute shopping to do. It's just rations and okay. stuff. Yeah, uh, if you so, guys want to get uh, foodstuffs or healing potions, this is an opportune moment to do so. I suppose it probably wouldn't be a good time to try and present my thesis. Nah, I got more important to do. Yeah, probably not the best time. Literally, we're about to leave. And also, there's a war going on. Yeah. All right, so, okay, so. Uh, if we can sort of skip over the shopping thing, I think you can just sort of do that in the background. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, then we will move the party right along. So as per uh, pre-session discussion, you teleport to Exeter Castle, say hi to Princess Verona, and then get a boat again. Uh, they are I... slightly unhappy you didn't return the last boat, and are now asking for another one, but so be it. Hey man, we're trying to save the world here. What's a few boats? I I How much does it cost? I'll, I'll buy a fresh one. Yeah, I don't know, it's probably like 50 silver. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I don't want to literally... I don't want to start, yeah. Yeah, I can fork that too. Seriously. All right, so you want to this... pay for this one that we inevitably are leaving behind in the company of Ogres? Yeah, they get tangled here. Alright, so you guys buy a boat this time and pay for the one you left behind last time. Yeah. And spend the next three days going upriver. You pass by Castronex's lair, which is now somewhat empty, past Carlo's tower, and up to the old bridge. That's our previous boat. Yeah, you pass by your previous boat. There's like you a little family of weasels it. living in it now. Oh, never mind. They can stay. Good weasels. <laughs> yeah, you uh, also pass by Cleona's village. And then arrive at the 
uh, old stone bridge, which now as you sort of turn a long bend towards the section of the river that crosses, you see that it is now a covered bridge. There is a large wooden uh, set of walls on either side and some branches piled up on top to make a okay-ish roof. And there seems to be some activity on the bridge. Specifically, uh, a group of dwarves are crossing in a caravan of carts. Oh, neat. Yeah, you beat yourselves and go on up there and see that there is a single orc sitting at the side of the bridge. He looks fairly bored as he collects uh, a few silver pieces from the dwarves and waves them past on their way. Yeah. Well, this seems like a positive sign at least. Right. Hey, or... yeah, yeah, I was or... wondering about that. Oh, wait, did, weren't they not orcs? Weren't they there was not an orc there earlier last time we were here. Yeah, so Give there was a, a... It was a mixed family of ogres and orcs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. okay. Yeah. A little bit confused there. That's okay. Wait. They don't speak our tongue, right? Uh, generally speaking, no. Uh, do they speak giant again? Uh, the orcs might speak like a broken giantish. I'll just um, ask if ask if Jeffrey like I'm. They, I'm sure they know the God King's name. I right, say so you. Uh, you say Jeffrey to him, and the orc. Uh, he'll just point behind him towards the tree line and as you give it a squint you can see that uh, there is a fairly long long house built up out of tree trunks cut down in a uh, recently made clearing in the woods interesting doing well let's go check up and see how they are well yeah of course Oh yeah, I forgot. I have to do my my morning my morning check. Uh, let's see here. Uh, <coughs> boop. All right, I continue to you know manage well with my seven shot breakfast. Excellent. All right, so yeah, you proceed on towards this long house set up on the edge of the woods. And indeed, you see more orcs outside chopping wood or tending to a small garden. Hmm. Hi. It's yeah, like I this. guess they will recognize you and if you give you up nods or sort of looks of concern since uh, you beat the shit out of them last time. They'll get happy smiles and waves back. Zanz is hopping along here to see Jeffrey. Yeah. And indeed, the door will burst open and a flying mass of reddish brown scales will eject itself outside and come back. Oh, thank God you come back for me. You. I thought you'd never come back. Yeah, anyway, so quickly, please, who, who's in front of the party here? Uh, Zanza. Probably right. Zanza since no one can keep up. Zanza, you get smashed in the face by Jeffrey. He just slams into you, barrels you over. And hugs you around the head with thighs and arms, flapping his wings uncontrollably. I'm happy to see you too, Jeffrey. Oh, oh, you're back. Oh, fuck. Ah. Uh, uh, hi, guys. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Hi, Jeffrey. Still alive and kicking. Yeah, so a as you say that, and Jeffrey peels himself off of. Uh, Zanza, you can see that his entire lower body is just covered in this one large bandage. What happened to you? Snoo snoo. Ah, uh, oh. I oh. think I broke all of my body. Oh, buddy. Oh, Jeffrey. Good on you, though. Know that your sacrifice is valiant and that your task is great. Who hurt you, Jeffrey? Ah, <laughs> uh, me. I, I hurt me. Oh. <laughs> he just gives an understanding nod. Slow nod. The snoo snoo nod. I did one of those seconds. Both, so of, both of them smell like big warm paint. It's okay, hey, Jeffrey. I also have lots of experience with punching up in weight class. 
Yeah, I, I did a lot of punching up. A lot of real hard thrusting there. Uh -huh. Two fists pressed together. It is okay. In time, we'll recover. To I'm gonna, I'm gonna help heal. Yeah. Oh, oh, thank fuck. Your pelvis shall re heal only stronger. Hopefully. Could, Probably. Could I just get one like made of iron? Can Can you do that for me? No. Oh, why no. stop at iron? Adamantine dick bones. Yes. If you can sit, if you continue, I'll put it down in the journal of science. Yep. But other than that, it seems like everything is going well. You've been a positive influence on the ogres, no doubt. Uh, yeah, I, I taught them about money, and now they are tax collectors. Wow, that didn't Me. take long. I uh, take it that they've defied any, like, fucking fighty scuffles? 500 years later, them damn ogres who control the banks! <laughs> Orcs, but yes. Uh, so yeah, Jeffrey will shake his head and say, No, nope, nobody's uh, tried to come fuck with us. Uh, there's the giants in the woods, but... They can keep their distance. Guess they're not looking for us. Ah, no, right. not for you. That's for sure. Yeah, he'll point a hand up the road towards Carnthold and say, uh, "From the sound of things, dwarves aren't having a great time of it." No, it's uh, not going well. No, oh, don't worry. Well, so uh, we're going to rectify that situation soon enough. Speaking of which, where the hell y'all been? Ah! Uh, <laughs> oh, you know. Frida Yeah, yeah. We'll let we'll let Frida do, Frida do the Batman symbol spin around. <laughs> and that's all the shit we got up to. Huh? And all right. Who'd have thought that's where the moon was the whole time, and we still gotta go there. So you were a dragon the whole time. Why didn't you tell me, Mary? I don't know. I she was dragging no. soul. No. She I, I feel deeply dragon. betrayed. She had the dragon, the soul of the very, very, very first dragon. Which is back, by the way. Which, by the way, a, totally a, a reincarnation of something. Zan, Zan's going to lean and go, by the way, totally on her candidate list. Ah, uh, I'm a little, uh, claimed right now, but thanks. Just saying, you know where your next challenge lies after you conquer the ogres. Conquer them? I mean, in one context, perhaps. Uh, genetically, maybe. <laughs> this is our nice. god King Jeffrey we're talking Fist about. Bump. It's, it's merely only a matter of time before his dick reigns mastery over all of them. I don't know. Hey, are any speaking of, of which, uh, let... Hold on, I want to sh I want to introduce you to the corks. The corks. No way! So yes, I'm all very excited to learn about this. Yeah, so Jeffrey will fly back uh, through in through a window very very quietly, and he will return a minute later with a uh, very large baby in arm. It has huh. like dark green skin, but. Uh, all of its four limbs are covered in scales and has a great big pair of horns coming up off its brow. Like, even as a baby, its horns are fucking enormous. Oh, oh Gucci Do you think it's going to be small, big, or normal-sized? Ah, uh, by whose Earth? standards? Hmm, fair point. <coughs> oh my gosh, I gotta babble sweet stuff at it in Draconic and give it all the pets and rubs. Look at you! That's good practice. I like that. What do you mean good pra- Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> what, what do you mean good practice? Oh, yeah, I'm pregnant. Mary's pregnant. We're married. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes right. sense. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, like, looked at everyone else like, see, that's how I wish you guys had reacted. Really simple like that. Also, I feel deeply betrayed again that I wasn't asked to be anyone's best man. Well, no, we haven't had, to be fair, it wasn't a ceremony yet. We had, well, sadly, we it had to was. put off the whole actual ceremony. It was kind of a crossbow it a, wedding. It was a, yeah. Yeah, my mom did it as a, I think, actually as a prank, but it kind of was stuck, and we're pleased with that. That was after she force choked me. She pranked yeah. Mary Bass. 
We are going to have an actual ceremony, and you are absolutely invited, Jeff. But do I get to be your best man? Or your best man? Uh, yeah, sure, actually, sure. Yes! No. I think the rest are technically like a lot of bridegrooms. Hey, Zanza, do you want to be my bridegroom? Uh... Huh. Go on, you'd look so cute in a dress. Yeah, Zanza. You'd wear a dress. Zanza just thinks back to the Amazons and goes, won't that put me only closer to fuckboy? You can't get uh, I mean, me closer, only buddy. If you, only if you keep continuing to wear it afterwards. Hmm. As long as there's a very limited Amazon in gallery. Mm. Whoa, 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 that's real racist. I have my racist. Well, no, I mean, t he, got, he got turned. You know, punching up the weight class? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Ice crusher. Weeks. He literally he literally decked the queen of the Amazons. Nice. Yep. Fist bump ah. Jeffrey again. For the important question. Do you want to come back with us and continue our adventures to save the world? Or are you happy to stay here? Ah, uh, Mama says she'll skin me alive if I leave, so no. Mama? That, you know, that makes sense. But with the corks. You know, that, that the ogre matron you left me with? Yeah, yeah. Ah, right. Yeah, Mama. That, that's her yeah. name now, I guess. Uh, yeah, it makes sense. You must, know, we must must get... you here with the not Mama. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't think you know how ogres work. It, it's okay. You sold me into slavery, but it's fine. Oh, don't worry. I'll be able to bargain for your freedom back. I mean, Crush already did it to me once, and we everything turned out fine. You had to duel to the death, though, against the person I technically sold you to. I think she'd squished Jeffrey. It's everything turned out fine. No, I mean, it did. We'll figure it out, Jeffrey. Don't you worry, buddy. Also, pl please please don't fight my baby mama. No, of I won't do not. that. Actually, actually could, could, could you just not, not bug her? She yells at me a lot, and she, she, she's sleeping now. Okay. Of course. Uh, tell you what, and I will rummage in my bag. I'm not allowed to enjoy this anymore, and I will give him some of my pipe weed. Wait, aren't you pregnant with a satyr or something? Yeah, apparently the others don't think I should be able to smoke anymore, although I do get to start my morning with a seven-shot breakfast. Shouldn't you be doing, like, more drugs? I know, right? Uh, we oh we well. still have to keep her sober enough to help save the world. It's a delicate balance. You're not allowed to go off crazy partying if you're going to still continue our adventures. Drinking is fine as far as I know. My yeah. mom wasn't a smoker. So I don't no. know about that. The only thing she smoked was sausage. Bam! <laughs> Penis joke. Oh. Yeah. Oh, she was talking about penis. Yes. Hmm. Rather cruel. Anyways, I'm glad to see you're doing all right, Jeffrey. Or at least mostly all right. It's yeah, okay. I'm great, aside from the broken pelvis. I'm going to mm. hand Jeffrey a healing potion. Ah, thanks, later. Tuts. You're the best. He will covet the potion and tuck it into his like cast. I'm gonna I'm gonna whisper to Jeffrey's ear and give him some uh, tips for maintaining his pelvis. <laughs> I ask, of course, the uh, the fuckboy dating tips. They're very critical if you want to survive as a fuckboy. Detail says what he has his mouth full of meat. Yeah, I was about to say it sounded like he had a mouthful of dick there, but I After thought better of it. Do I want to and get anything done, right? Mm -hmm. But yes, uh, everything seems digible. Very well. But you know that they're offered to talk you free still here. Although, you know, maybe wait until the kids... How... I wonder how long does it take for a cork to get to maturity? Like, kobolds don't take long. Uh... 
irrelevant because I they she just keeps making more. Ah. Uh, hmm. Try not to. So, take are you being? So, I'm, I have to ask: Are you being shared, or is this? Or has one of them just claimed you as? As just, her? just mama. Just, just mama. Oh. Try not to take over the world with your, your genetically superior bred babies. Ah, uh, ain't up to me, go, <laughs> little buddy. Uh, ain't up to me. Hmm. Yeah, I'm Will starting to worry this will seriously actually become a thing. And we're just safe but don't do it. Don't make Dragon Baby don't make Quirks the main antagonist of the next 74. God, I wouldn't put it past him. Faven has a very fond memos ice cream day of two here. Don't the, do it. the irony the would be too, the irony would be too thick. I mean, it wouldn't be ironic. I think that's the wrong phrase there. Wouldn't it be kind of ironic? Hmm, I'm probably still using it wrong. No, no. I mean, Heroes creating the threat for the next campaign, I feel like, happens basically every time. Because that's how that goes. There's nothing ironic about that. I mean... I mean, typical? Yeah. It's on brand. Well... Well, I'm not about to go Anakin Skywalker, so... <laughs> no! The younglings! So, I suppose we should continue on and just let that take its course. Yeah, I guess right. so. So? Well, we did all first, so... Yeah, and Jeffrey's more afraid of his baby mama than he is of you, so he's gonna hang out here. Yeah. Well, Alright. I mean you'll get a big old fond hug. Marshmallow hell. You say marshmallow hell, but really it's more like thick thighs breaking lives. Ah, I, love I, mean, it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. So the uh what little remains of the day is spent heading north along the trade road. Uh however, as the party uh, begins to deviate off the road to head on towards Dragon's Rest, you quickly see that night is falling. And it's doing so quickly. Quicker than it should at this point in the summer. Oh, interesting. I'm going to look, well, in the direction of the sun. I'm not going to look stare directly at it because I'm not retarded, but... I look directly yeah. into the sun and I absorb its powers. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I was joking. Moon is out. No, shut up. The moon, the moon is, is out. out in full force. It's not an eclipse, per se. But you can hmm. very clearly see the pale, bluish-white crest of the moon in the sky hanging heavily upon the world. And then you hear a thunderous crack from somewhere nearby. Uh oh. Mm, like that might be someone falling. being teleported in. Okay. I'm gonna ready all my fucking shit together. One moment while I check what fucking spells I got prepared because let's face it, that's probably about what's gonna happen. Of course this moment. has to happen in the middle of the dark when I can't see. I mean you say that I mean I figure that's probably the intent. They brought the dark with them. Yeah. I'll start doing my little bunny hops for uh, dancing lights. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, here, let me get you a little token. Like that. Actually, does my sword does my sword produce any light, or is it just uh, radiating? Uh, it dead? produces light like a torch. If you'd rather use that. Uh, sure. I mean, I'm not gonna pull it out because that's one d six per fucking round. So, yeah, yeah. I'll pull Same. that out when combat combat starts. Keener is is. Uh, Mage armor is still something you don't have. Yes. Correct. And, then I, and I assume you aren't wearing armor? Uh, uh, Would you benefit from 13 plus dex as your AC? Bit. I mean, a little okay. bit, yeah. Alright, boop. One of them. And the moment I see a foe, I will be casting protection from evil and good on me. So I'll just take that fucking spell slot off. Okay. 
Uh, so oh. yeah, as you guys begin getting ready for the inevitable, uh, it sure turns out to be inevitable as you hear another rapid series of crack, 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 crack in the distance. It's... Wait, does that sound like thunder? Uh, it... That's trees getting kicked down. Yeah, it no. sounds more like trees falling in the distance. About to say, I'm going to have to see some motherfuckers. not that distant anymore. It seems to be getting closer every second. Oh. I'm going to jump into one of these trees and get in position. I prepare bacon as soon as I'm making starch. I'm going to halt. I'm not ready in action. All right. Uh, if everyone would just stop moving. Uh, Kino, what ready to action? I'm ready in action to cast Bless. Okay. Uh, Marcus, what's the radius on your light? Uh, I think 30. Okay. Whatever a torch is. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So, 40 foot, 20 foot. So I'm just going to increase your volume a little bit. There we go. Alright. So, if everyone would do me the, the favor of rolling initiative. Let me actually click my token this time. That would be a good thing to do. I'm off to get stuck. So, so uh, Crusher, you're totally rolling a nat 20 for initiative, right? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, let's see here. Said with the utmost confidence. Nope. <laughs> Come I on now, I... it's because you fucking said it, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Damn it. I was getting around to it at my own pace. Damn it. See, I can roll initiatives like that on when I'm like not being called out on it. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna have Talt back up because I'm pretty sure at this level a horse just fucking gets killed. I mean, poor horse. Look. Look. You need a dire horse hey, to be on But hey, think about this. Lassie finally Your gets to be used properly. This is true. If you're through an Oath Wardens. Oh boy. It's well, a dope name. One is slower the hit, than the hit Oath. squad has come. You ready to get fucking gooned on? At least we're not getting Concord. Mm. That was a big note, though. <laughs> Alright, is everyone on the board? Believe so. Alright, so everyone begins hearing these thunderous tree destructions approaching faster and faster, closer and closer, until they seem to be just beyond the nearest hill. Uh, can you just say 20 foot? Uh, yeah, okay, I might have done that backwards. Hmm. There you go. Yeah, I've got 60 foot vision. All as well here. Alright, Sierra, you are up. Okay. Uh, huh. And ready in action to shoot. All right. The first hostile target. And she should probably bonus action stealth. Blip. <laughs> Become one with the shadows. Yeah. Yeah, she she sure does. <laughs> All right. Let me take a look at this ability here. Okay, so that does in fact produce light. So, boop, boop. Oh, hey. Yeah, don't don't worry about that. That's just chilling over there until I move it into position. So, hmm. I think Frida, you're probably the only person who hears a soft chant come across the wind. 
a feminine voice carrying a arcane spell, or no, you recognize that as divine magic. And then some bad shit happens. Great. So, Zanza. Yo. As you have leapt into this tree, yeah. you are sitting there waiting for the enemy to appear, and Yar. then a lance of glittering blue moonlight l streaks down from on high and blasts into you from the heavens. Is this a motherfucker just costed moonbeam or whatever it is? Oh shit, it's moonbeam? It sure is. Ah oh, shit! Moo ah oh, shit, it's moonbeam! I've seen what? this I've seen this a lot of times from uh somebody else, but I haven't seen it used on me yet. Alright, it's a very well, neat spell. You're gonna need to make a con save. Uh remind me again, evasion only applies to dexterity rolls, right? Only to dex save, yes. And let me just confirm that oh, that's, that's my is in can fact I get constitution. My, do I get my ready to action? Uh do you see anybody? I my well, I mean, no, it's just to cast Blast. All right, I mean, that's fair. You can cast well, Blast now. Wait, I remember... Any hostile action, so that's a hostile fucking action. Mm. If anything. I hear something bad happen. Um, cast Blast. And then you put down, what was it, Bacon? Yep. Uh, All right, so... It is a con save. I have double-checked. Yeah. Marcus Zanza, and who else gets it? So here's my question, actually. Don't I have to... I'm casting it as a second-level spell, so Zanza, Marcus, Sira, and, Mer and myself get it. Nice. Don't I have to enter Moonbeam or start my turn there before it actually uh, damages me? Well, I guess I'm going to start my turn. So, uh, incidentally, it says in Moonbeam's description... Uh, let me pull it up. Or, do, do, do. I mean, I technically get hit by it because I have to start my turn in there next time, so, yeah. Yeah, when... Bleh. When a creature enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn, incidentally, when it's created, you are entering its its space. I feel like you could argue the semantics of that, but like I said, I get heat. Hit yeah, you're going to get hit either way, and I'm not going to double jeopardy right you. So. First time on a turn, or starts its turn there. See? Yeah, but when I, th when I see enter, I feel like you have to deliberately move into where it's casted. No. Or starts. It's specifically written there. Anyways, con check. Yeah. <laughs> All right. open that? You take 17 radiant damage from the moon itself. Oof. Psst. And then uh, the individual who cast that He's going to use a bonus action to do another thing. Uh, actually, no, she's not. That's a bad idea. So instead, you all hear a ungodly howling upon the wind, drowning out that chant as large winged shapes come hurtling towards you at a significant speed, almost as fast as Zanza moves. Impossible. You say that, but boom! One of them yep. slams into Zanza's tree. And is uh, shot. And does indeed get shot, yes. Wow. Actually, for a crit. Oh, Time for critical crit. sneak damage. Sneak attack doesn't double. Wow. Uh, it sure does. Zira. It sure fucking does. Does. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, so oh, please, yeah, this Jesus. thing Sierra. comes winging out of the darkness, hurtling towards Zanza, and then just gets shot directly in the eye and falls to the ground, very dead. Blit. Get fucking <laughs> get dunked, nerd. Yeah, pretty much. I'm just gonna move him over because he's initiative, bro. Wow, that was. Pew. All right. However. Uh, I'm that never does... rolling that good again this fight. Yeah, that does reveal where Sira is, though, so... Uh... Do, 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 do. And let's see... 20-foot line, you say. Incidentally, that hits Sira. So... Mm. Whoosh! 
Oh, I need to uh, put the brackets in there. But Siri needs to make a deck save. She is fine. Evade! Uh, does Evade. she have Evade? Evade? Yes, she does. Okay. Nope. Then Evade. she fully evades a Lance of Frigid Cold. She's a, level, she's a level 7 rogue, right? Yep. Yes, awesome. Yep. She's got it. Yeah. Don't doubt me. <laughs> I had to do that level up myself. <laughs> All right. And this hound is gonna move, just gonna double move up into Sierra's grill. Ooh. Oh no, but she my grill. And Zanza. Well, no. Sierra saved me from an attack, so I'll go save Sierra from an attack. Okay. So I'm gonna move down here. I'm gonna move, make sure I'm over here, and then I'm going to draw Crest Hollow for the first time. Whoosh. The blade is drawn in an eruption of crackling radiant flame. Swing. Ha oh, oh, ha oh. ha! Guess who has a lightsaber? It is indeed the Bon Bon. So we will get our dollar fans. Ba, 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 so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try lightsabering this guy. Uh, let's uh, bonus action buff my blade because I feel like that's going to be relevant. So I'll use my bonus action and then I'll try my two attacks. Uh, I'll take my radi I'll roll the radiant damage now. So that's three to him and three to me. Okay. Oops. Yeah, that's correct. And then I will slash him with radiant damage just to see how it works. So the slashing damage is radiant, but my thunder damage is still thunder, right? Correct. All right. I have to make a thing for uh, Crest Hollow, which I did not. But uh, just add plus one to attack rolls and damage for this. Okay. So I'll do lightning damage and boop. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Yeah, All right. Look at hounds. Yeah, you, you bring right. the pain right. and just shing, cut this weird creature in half. And now that one of you is close enough to really get a good look at it, this thing looks like some sort of horrific six-legged dog with ice blue skin and huge feathery wings sprouting from its back and a maw filled with shark-like teeth. Oh, and it squirts blood survive. all over you as it is bisected. Well, then I'll go over no, it. It got seared in half, so it's not squirting mm -hmm. anything. Uh, well, radiant isn't fire damage, so. And then I'll go. Over... And then also thunder. So imagine all those chunks yeah. just getting shook to bits. No, it was lightning. It was lightning. <laughs> lightning. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was specifically lightning damage. Just do the hound smell bacony? Uh, everything smells bacony because the bacon of hope is up. And nice. then I'll go over and move to attack this one. And even though I can... I'll, I'll try for Stunning Fist. So I'm going to do it one at a time for your punches. Mm. Don't. The devil side. All right. So you bring your sword in, and the dog just catches it in its teeth and wrenches it out of your hand. It is now Sif. Also, oh that, uh, that sword is lightning-infused Mithlin right there. Yeah, yeah, like I said, I didn't have a thing for Crest Hollow yet. All right, yeah. That makes sense. All right, so you do have a bonus action still, I believe? No, I used that to imbue my weapon with energy. Fair enough. All right, Marcus. Still have yeah, five movement. casting come from the north or from the um, west? Uh, you do not have sufficient passive perception to notice. Only Frida can even hear the chanting. Okay. Frida, uh, where's the caster here? I, I can't quite see through all this darkness. I point at the direction that Saber will say that he is in. Incidentally, it's the direction you pointed. Oh, look at that. Okay. I will uh, give Lassie a little tap and charge off into the darkness. All right. Oh, sweet, it is. You see a huge uh, azure-skinned giant stomping towards you with a titanic hammer slung over his shoulder. 
Yeesh. Well, I will meet him and uh, hope that this is not a windmill. And uh, charge. <laughs> oh. oh, giant servant of the uh, wretched moon god who attempts to wipe out all life and civilization. That's totally not cool, and we're going to tell your boss. But uh, for the time being, I bet you. Oh, God. I'm going to spear him or lance him with my uh, red sewer. All right. Uh, going to use inspiration on the first strike. All if we right. get three crits. No, well, it's a hit. And he's getting smoked also. All right. So let me just check him. Okay. Yep. Takes damage from it. That is a mighty smite indeed. Boom! Uh, but he's huge, right? So he cannot be knocked down. He is indeed a huge creature. Okay. So uh, second strike. He staggers back, but he is not knocked prone. Another hit. More determined than ever. And more smites. Jesus, calm down there, Marcus. <laughs> you can't write, son. All and right. Third, third strike. Jesus, I think you just killed him. Uh, if you smite him, you kill him, I think. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a real good uh, hypothesis. Uh, Fuck. Well, little baby smite, I guess. Uh, actually, no. Uh, my uh, dear friend Lassie has not quite has not attacked yet. So uh, let's see. Do 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 trampling charge. Uh, do, do, oh yeah, do. Lassie. Have Lassie kick him uh, right in the balls. I don't think this has a size requirement on it. If the horse moves at least twenty feet straight towards a creature. Hits with its hooves at, on the same turn. I guess I have to hit first. Hooves. Okay. I, uh, hits with yeah. the hooves. Ho Target must make a strength save or be knocked prone. I mean, oh incidentally, God. he's unconscious, so he does Lassie. get knocked prone either way. Jesus. You just see fucking. Yeah, the there is a. Up there, Marcus swaying and smacking with. Glorious divine magic dancer, and then last he just fucking hoops into the ground. Yep, directly in the gonads. And then we'll finish the rest of the charge to get a little closer. Wow. That was a warm up. The rest of you surrender immediately. We promise not to tell your boss. All right, uh, the giants all turn their attention directly to Marcus. Mary. I forgot about Bless. That's fine. Well, it, I was you didn't ready miss, to so. roll on you, roll in case you missed, but you didn't miss. Uh huh. Can I see what's going on over there, or is that just too much out of my way? You can. Uh, you probably can't see past the tree. In fact, let me let me put a dynamic lighting bit for hair tree. Yeah, I was wondering if I could actually see them or not. Yeah, probably okay, not. Okay, I can sort of see the raven priestess. So, let's kick some off with some new magic. Oh boy. I'm going to flex my new power, and I'm going to twin a spell. Guiding Bolt! And... Guiding Bolt! Jesus, who are you shooting at? One's at the Raven Priestess that I can just just, just see, and the other's at the Crescent Hound there. Alright. Two solid hits. I will put a little marker on him. 
Uh, alas, not a crit because you didn't uh, stack guiding bolts. Yeah, unfortunate. I could have mulched something pretty good with that one. Yeah. All right, but you create some openings. And Annika, can you take advantage? Yeah, if she can focus on this fucker, then I can worry about throwing an ice storm at everything up here. Thanks. All right, Annika will move up. I thought for a second she threw a guiding bolt too, and I'd be like, holy shit, Annika. I mean, no, but she will fire a chromatic orb. Oh, Pew! is that the one that has moonlight up? Well, it's a good thing uh, she didn't she crit didn't fail, really. but it does miss. Done. And yes, she Still does moonlight. have uh, Moonlight up, so let me make her a con save. Do, do, do. Oh yeah, she good. She good. Alright, Annika swing and a miss. Crusher. Done. Um... Yeah, everything up in this corner over here. I'll I'll move up onto this little bit of ledge to get more more vision on it. But uh, let's see here. Yeah. Okay, cool. Blade singing and yeah, fucking ice storm right there to get all of this shit and turn it all into difficult terrain as well. Okay. Ice storm with its three hundred feet of range. Jesus. Ah, oh, not a. Oh, that was not bad. It was the cold damage that was very disappointing, though. Look All at right. that. This might yeah, shock you, but giant. Look at the forty-six. Have... It's so shit. Don't have amazing dexterity, but yeah. All right, one of them manages to uh, just take uh, a bit of damage there, but the rest well. are thoroughly injured. Yep, and that whole area is difficult terrain for a turn. Let's see that moonbeam fail. That's true. All right, and yeah, con save from the priestess. Do do do. Where the con save at? There it is. Uh, she fine. With an eleven, goddamn. You only need to get a ten. Unless you do like twenty one. 22 points of damage, so... I thought it was 10 plus the damage done to you. No, it is not. It is uh, either 10 or half the damage. What am I thinking of? Pathfinder. Nah. Um, maybe. Only maybe. <laughs> Hard to say. Okay, so... Uh, yep, yeah. incidentally, it is indeed Frida's turn. Okay, okay. So I shall start goating. Goat, 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 goat. This is about a bit. Go, so I can get some more map over here. Here, so, uh, here. Be right me back, real quick. There. Exactly. Okay, that should be enough. So, 40 there. Goats over here. Oh, by the way, and yeah, then, these are the concentrations. Uh, well, it went to this something. And then... Uh, All right, so you get there, and... Mm, that's it. So, healing word on... Zaza uh, Bun Bun. That's six foot range, right? 
So that's eight plus. So it gets eleven hit points back. All right, eleven hit points for Zanza. Yes, indeed. Right. Uh, uh, Scal, I'm going to leave it to DCL to decide if he has RTSR still. True, true. So, Zanza, do you have RTSR still? Mute CL. Okay, something's wrong with me, Scal. Mm. Alright, good talk, DCL. There we go. He's, he's muted right now. I know. Yeah, he went, he said be right back, so. There we go. But he was fucking talking. So that's four. Three. So four, eight, eleven. Yeah, he gets eleven hit points back, so if he can adjust his hit points. Sure. Alright, so that's move and a bonus action. Yes. And I can't activate invisible because that's a bonus action unless I can use it as an action. Generally, no. So, that's about it. Well, oh, then I will take the dodge action. Good choice. Alright, Fear Thun. Uh, Marcus, would you kindly roll me 66? Oh. Mighty indeed. All right. So, as you begin... Uh, oh, DCL, we were going to say you have the option to decide if RTSR is broken down or not. Ugh, it really isn't good. It's up to you. Mm. Yeah, especially with the, the sword I have. Let me read it one more time, and I'll decide. Okay. Yeah, wouldn't that burn be taking the bonus dice of damage every time? Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! The trap. It's really not a good ring. All right. So while you're deciding that, uh, Marcus, you see that in the light of the moon, the giants, despite their grievous injuries begin to stand themselves back up. The giant that you had previously run through twice with your Ransor just shoves Lassie aside and scarpers to his feet and then brings down the hammer on you. Oh, sorry. Was it not clear that um, Lassie killed him? Uh, Lassie... Does Lassie have multi-attack? After the trample? Um, uh, the... What's that? Yeah, so, he was reduced to zero hit points. It, well, are these guys doing the? I mean, do are, do they have death saving throws also? Yes. Oh. Okay. Well, never mind then. Yeah, they they these are clearly not killed when they are reduced to zero hit points because this guy stands the fuck back up. Can and... he go to attack on that turn as well? Mm-hmm. The fuck? Okay. Uh, I think Saban's just salty that you were killing his favorite big boys straight away. Uh, well, I mean, because uh, Lassie would have got a second strike, but that would have only but been two death saving throws, so it wouldn't have been sufficient to kill anyway. Correct. Mm -hmm. But yes, if you have the opportunity to coup de gras, uh, that might be to your advantage. But for the now, okay. uh, this giant gets back up and brings the hammer down on you. I forget his nation. Is Critigar even a thing in 5e? Sure is. A melee, a melee attack will do two death saving throws. A ranged attack will do one death saving throw. Their failure automatically. Yes. So had there's I, no. Okay. Had I known, I could have killed him with a smite, and then Lassie got two strikes, which would have been four death uh, failed saving throws, which would have killed him. But now we know. Now you know. So, he gets a 23 to hit, and he is going to try and knock you off your horse. 
What an asshole. What an asshole. Oh, uh, what, you, there's no, Obvious. there's no ability attached to this. Hmm? Is it, is it strength? Is it dex? What is oh, it? sorry, uh, it's, it's just a knockdown, so you can use either your strength or dex, uh, your athletics or acrobatics. Just a shove attempt. Um, you so do. Okay, you can get here. So that's a, it's not a saving throw, it's a skill check. Correct. It is the shove action, basically being tacked onto his abilities, so. Okay. Um. All right. Marcus gets booped off of his horse. Boop. Boop de boop. Yeah. I guess you can choose which square you get knocked into, I believe, if you fall off your horse. Yeah, probably a smart choice. Alright, and the other giant will go circle around. The one who's next to Lassie will uh, give her a smackdown. God, what assholes. Oh, bye Lassie. Bye Lassie. And then chuck a javelin at Marcus. Boop. Scoop you. Now we're back to rolling fire. Back to. Did he stop? Alright, so yeah, Lassie <laughs> gets her wig split, and then Marcus gets hit with a spear. The giant over here is going to throw a couple spears at Zanza. I believe he is at sufficient range to have disadvantage on these attacks. Uh, maybe. Let me look. Uh, no, he's not. Just barely. So, pew, pew. Alright, one hit. Uh, 18. What a I think three. Alright. You knock a ballista bolt-sized missile out of the way and just take a little graze. And that is the giants advancing towards you. Sira. Uh, okay. Um, she's gonna try and kill that thing over there, so the others can get on with their lives. All right. No, my puppers. Yep. Uh. Right. What? Did you move back, Ezio? Uh. He did have five mean? feet of movement left, so yes, he. Yeah, did. I did move back then. Okay, so wow. That's not moving to here, like down there, and she'll just go around. But at some point, a bonus action hide happens. So I'll just do that. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Hides under, under the cart. Uh, then... I don't think that's sufficient to hide from this thing. No, it is not. Oh, that's annoying. And it's fine. She missed anyway. Correct. Pew, plink. Well, the attempt was made. So yeah, she yes. hits it, but the air just buries into its thick, furry hide and has no appreciable effect. Why did its hide have to be so thick? All right. There's blast, so. uh, there's blast, but... And, well, you know what? Sure. 13? Probably not. Alright, uh, 13 will not hit, no. Alright, somewhere in the back, the Raven Priestess will take her actions. Let's see, what you got, baby? Leave moving Moonbeam is a bonus action? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, you can use an action to move the beam 60 feet in any direction. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, uh, let's see. How big of an asshole can I be? Yep, there we go. She will drag this beam of moonlight through Frida and onto Marcus. So, would you kindly make a constitution save, both of you? Well, he got the vantage on that, so... 
Yeah. Keep going, Marcus. Doesn't it have to end in a square? Like, it doesn't hit everybody who moves, does it? Uh, when you enter its space, well, I yeah, guess that's fair. It, it it doesn't necessarily travel through a path. So yeah, Frida, you don't have to make a save. Just Marcus. And it takes no damage. Uh, correct. Marcus has evasion. Guess the uh, the moon's healing them and damaging us. I suppose we've got like the sun in our back pocket. We can just pull that out. Uh, points at the sword. <laughs> yeah, it's currently in the dog's mouth. Aroo! Now that you have the power of the sun, you see the light. Change sides, Crescent Hound. <laughs> Uh, that's cute. And then the priestess will, uh, Misty Step. That seems like a fun thing to do. She will go over here so she doesn't have to deal with difficult terrain. <laughs> she steps through the moonlight and reappears on top of that tree, smashing it to splinters and taking up position behind her friend. Unlike the other two giants who were only lightly injured, the moon has not been so gracious to her, and she remains somewhat injured. Doggo. Uh, yeah. Sif, please, I, I, you were the bestest of boys. Alright, Sif, you can do this. I believe in you. What's your strength, buddy? Alright. 1d20 plus 2 plus... Oh god, TCL does a 22 hit your armor class. Oh man, I wonder. I wonder if. I wonder if. Alright. Uh, Sif does 10 points of um, slashing damage to you as he slices you with your own sword. Then bounces around and lands over here. What a dick. What a dick. Alright, Zanza. Oh, well, and first, uh, the yeah, other so two, or the other one, Crescent Hound gets its death saving throw and fails. Well, first, uh, it burns itself on my sword. <laughs> That's right, it does. Uh, it also burns you on your sword. But yes. Yeah, but at least it takes the the more radiant damage than I do. Alright. Uh... Yeah, also, we'll just I think... both use the five, I think, since you're only yeah. supposed to roll once. Hey, what about the lightning damage? Well, the lightning damage is not that's him. him. Yeah, yeah that's the me. lightning is him. The dog doesn't also become a monk. <laughs> so, no, my... the fact that the, the sword was lightning infused. No, but it does radiant damage as its thing. While lightning infused is just uh, on hit. I, I wish it, it also applied to the radiant damage, but no. Uh, okay. So, here's my question. Does the sword burning it with radiant damage make it drop it out of its mouth? You know, that's fair. Let's have him, uh... How intelligent can this fucking dog be? I mean, it's it's gonna hold on to the thing. The question is, can it actually hold on to it? Uh, I will make it a con save, like it it's got heat it's metal. It's bamboozled by the sword in its mouth. Uh, DCL, what's your uh, key save? Uh, 14. Okay. It holds on to your sword just barely. Man, fuck you. It doesn't even have proficiency in great sword. Rawr. Fucking <laughs> bastard doggo. Let's just pull another sword and kill him with that. Well, I, you know, I have another sword that I can yeah. pull, but I don't want to imbue it with more key. So mm. I'm going to punch. I'm going to fist it. No, Seth. Actually, if I... For factor of cool's sake, if I grab the sword and then give it a pulse of lightning, can, uh, can I just do the lightning damage? Yes, absolutely. All right. I'm going to do that then. All right. Uh, it's holding the sword, so just make an attack on uh, AC 10 to see if you can grab the sword in its mouth. Uh, let me see. Give him a target number as fuck now. AC 10? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me just make the attack roll and see if I can't do that. Uh... Okay, All right, you're fine. All right, so you grab the sword blade, it recharges with lightning, and the doggo falls unconscious from holding the hilt. All right. Now, 
Still got my movement since it moved over towards me. Can you coup de gras those before you run off in that direction? I mean, it would take actions and then I couldn't do anything. Yeah, true. You could bonus action a potion. I want to run up, but honestly, I'd have to use a key to go up and get any of them. So, yeah, probably get a bonus action of potion on myself. Am I under bacon of hope? Is that just max? Mm-hmm. Yep. You let them. No, wait, that's 12. No, wait, 10. 3d4 plus 2. Yes, 10. Okay. So, bonus action of me some uh, heckin' good potion. And then, just so I'm... Wait, did I take damage from before? Oh, wait, here. Because I'm getting rid of the tear stone ring. I had 8 back. So it's minus 8 from tear stone, but I was like, nah, that's bad. Uh, let's move over here. Okay. So at least there's some... Sp oh, wait, oh. Hmm. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, you rush into now. the darkness and find some giants. Oh, right. Hmm. Hey, giants! I see you. I see them over there. Thanks, Sans, for being so bright and shiny. Yeah, yeah. I'm a very bright and shiny target. How much movement was that? That was. Uh... <laughs> I'm glad I didn't take all of my movement in a single turn. That was thirty. Mm -hmm. So. uh... You're still within its reach, so. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up and attack it with one of my attack actions. So, let's, uh... <sighs> we didn't crit fail. Alright. Uh, you hit him. I'll do Pretty radiant hard damage. too. Alright. Schwing. And then, over here, how elevated is this? Uh, the rise is a little over five feet, and the tree itself is probably like thirty or forty feet high. I'm gonna jump up this the tree. Okay. That's, Actually, I could that's just run up it. Just us. Uh... Oh, All right, you go while running up a tree, as you do. Damn it! Hi, Tasha. Anything else? Uh, nope, that's it. Damn, that's answer. Alright, Marcus. There, before you... Actually, alright. Uh, let me go let my dog out real quick. So you can decide on what you're doing. What, what was it that you wanted me to do, Mary? They are perfectly lined up for me to hurl a nice, fat fireball at them. Do it anyways. I got evasion. I don't want to hit you. Do it anyways. I got evasion. I'm hitting him yeah, with a level there's... 5 fireball. I have evasion. My You'll DS. fucking die if it hits you! My dexterity is 8. I'm fine. You, you, but you've said DPL. you'll be fine, you idiot. you said it three times. You're so I'll, gonna die. I'll be fine. Like, even if I get hit, unless she rolls literally 80 damage. Like, no, actually, she have to roll 98 exactly for it to insta-kill um, me. And that's what she'll do. Can it's you even be, roll that I'm much damage with the fireball? Be a, it's, no, it's... Probably exactly. Not. Fucking cast the fireball. Hit, uh, I'm fine. He has evasion. He'll be fine. You know, you still have, you still have some movement left, correct? Right? So no, I don't. Basic fuck. Wow. He took all my movement to run up the tree. By the way, I'm also super elevated, like at least forty feet in the air. Cast the fireball. That is a good point. All right. If you're ground blasting it, then. Yeah, it will be way far away. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, Marcus. well, uh, I don't have any really large tarps to throw over these guys to keep them out of the sunlight, so I'm going to have to try and pull them back towards the rest of the group so we can focus on taking them out. So uh, hit this guy and back up a little bit. Uh, let's see. Alright, that is a solid hit. And, uh, you have to put a smite on him. Alright, he oh, is looking real there. hurt. And second attack. 
Uh, Another hit. Wow, you were just... That will drop him. Again. Yep, again. And then I'll give him a bonk with the uh, tail end there. All right. Well, good thing you had advantage because he's prone. Oh, oh yeah. And right. when you slam the butt of your ran sewer into his belly, the giant makes a unholy shriek and then is wreathed in blue flames and disintegrates. Ah, I didn't expect that. Oh, okay. Weird. It's likely uh, just going back to the moon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just going off to the moon. Everyday shit. Yeah, I mean, Actually, when you're a moon giant. I don't want to. Uh, do, you do giant. as moon giants do, I guess. I don't want the giant to have a clear line to charge Frida, so I will interpose myself. All right. Mauricio. Okay, uh, well, all right, Zanza, I wish you the best as I will hop and skip forward and I'm going to pitch out that. All right, what square are you hitting? Okay, this one. that will hit all the giants, ding, so... Ding, ding. Let's see if they can crit some deck saves, because that's basically what they need to do. Boop. Boop. Nope. Wow. And can the Moon Priestess. Nope. Wow. It turns out giants are not very good at dodging explosions. I, I don't know if you've noticed. All right, that is a lot of fire damage. Oh, boy. That is, in fact, 40 points. Swoosh. All three giants are engulfed in searing light. Everything was Daijobu. Alright. You hear yelps of pain in the darkness. And uh, can Fireball light things on fire in 5e? Yep. I don't remember. I don't uh, there's remember. nothing, no, nowhere written in it can or can't. I figure it's up to you. Is it, was it, is it Dry or what? Uh, it ignites at flammable objects in an area, oh. in the area, okay. that aren't being worn or carried. All right. Oh. Well, uh, hold on a second. I just, hey, Zanzi, you might want to get out of that tree. Let me find the good old well, fire texture here. Oh, please don't actually put it on there, because we will not be able to see for shit. <laughs> do, 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 fire. Oh. There we go. Hey, maybe if we light the tree up high, bright enough, it, the light from the tree will will overpower the light from the moon. Yeah, the trees around, like, wherever you blast it, it's gonna be like, they're on Oops. fire. Whoops. This is why druids don't like fireball. I'm not a druid. I know. Yes, like I said. This is why druids don't like fireball. Yeah. Uh, this sounds like a personal problem for druids. I'm going to keep setting shit on fire. Yep, that that seems like a, a merry thing. All right, so yeah, the forest is now on fire. Good job, party. We'll put it out. Don't suppose you also know Ice Storm. I just used mine. Uh, I know how to make a storm sphere. No, oh, it's yes. lightning. Uh, the... Shooting everything with lightning will not improve that situation. The Raven Look, Priestess not, does need uh... to make a concentration check. Uh, this time, since she took 40 damage, the DC is 20 on a constitution save. Oh, yeah. Can they, those things also be light? Wow. Because actually that will be kind uh, of convenient. They are light. They are not providing light. What? Yeah. I don't fucking see light coming oh, off of them hold at all. on. I forgot to do the little check marks. I filled in the boxes, though. Boop. Mm -hmm. It's like halfway there. Boop, boop, and boops. Yeah, mini boops. Alright, so, meanwhile, since everything's already on fire now... <laughs> you might as well throw more fire? Sure. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Annika will throw a fireball in the same place. Pachoo! Anytime, right, she's a dragon's... 
sword or thing about that. She could do bonuses to it. She just did fucking fireball herself. So presumably with the exact same targeting as last time. Mm-hmm. Same spell. And I believe she gets to add uh, her charisma modifier to one damage roll. Fireball only makes one damage. Her charisma is three, so 30 damage to everybody. Boom. So now the DC is 15. Uh, for concentration, yes. Roll 20, lagging like a motherfucker. It can't handle the sweet, sweet fire. It really Sick can't. Sick, nasty flame. I think it's because you put dynamic lighting on a single tree. <laughs> yeah, you might actually want to remove that, because it that is probably making this try really hard. <laughs> that will probably take her, get rid of some lag. Hold on here. Let me, let me simplify my dynamic lighting here. It's now a line. Oh yeah, there we go. Much better. <laughs> Fucking real funny. All right, and yes, I do need to make a con save. DC fifteen. Pass. She's holding on to that goddamn spell for <laughs> everything she's yeah. got. Uh, right. uh, like lighting itself gets progressively more complicated when you have small amounts of it because mm -hmm. every single token has to send a thing that says, "I can see this much." It's blocking this much. Every single one of them. So, Crush, it's your turn. Uh, let's see here. You know what? A fireball game looks really fun. <sighs> I could also throw a fireball in that exact place. <laughs> but first, I'm going to order Tal to just go stamp on some dogs. Scorched Earth! And look, you can put a fire out by adding enough explosions. So, surely, if I just do another fireball, I mean, it will start blast going out. Their fuel source up into, yeah. into tiny enough pieces. There is going to be no oxygen here, and I'm far too tempted to not do it. So, yeah, in the exact same place for all three of those fuckers, I will also cast a fireball. My poor giants. Oh, I didn't actually make saving throws for them, but it doesn't matter. They fucking <laughs> can't succeed. All right, so one, two, three, four. Alright, uh, all the giants fail all their saves, and Moon Priestess. One, two. Okay, yep, they continue to fail. For and a mighty 21. And the, all right. uh, concentration. It doesn't matter, she goes down. Also, <laughs> the other giant goes down. And this giant up here does not go down, but he is hurt. And he, he ain't concentrating on shit. three psychos throw fireballs at his, bu at his buddy. <laughs> yeah, uh... You guys do like, fireballs indeed. Fireballs well are the mortar bombs of this game, so they probably just, like, it's the same as standing at boom, a trench and boom, then hearing... Boom. <laughs> you're like, what's that? <laughs> and then before you know it, everything is dead around you. I came back from the, I came back from the bathroom and basically magic has caused... <laughs> Three <it>. fireballs. <laughs> yeah, all, all the mages just did the artillery brigade thing. <laughs> Hit the yeah. same space with fireball three turns in a row. Annika did one, I did one, Mary did one. Boom. I'm so happy, you guys. <laughs> so happy right now. Fucking nerds. Alright, Frida. Go. Goat, you mean? Yes. Goat, goat, goat. Okay. Marcus gets... Tiny little goat band-aids. Maximize, so... Well, so it's 10 plus level, so that's, what, uh... 19. Nine. Yeah, so 19 hit points, and then a small... healing word, so... So, uh, 7... Thank you, Frida. Might want to step back, though. These uh, foul creatures fling massive javelins. Uh, speaking of which, okay. uh, Mary, you like fireballs, right? I do. Would you roll me 66? Uh, 
All right. The moonlight swells once more, and the unconscious giant warrior stands up. Are you sure you want to get back up? I mean, he's, he's laying down in fire, so he would indeed like to move. Or he's laying down next to fire. Did this guy get healed? I'll just assume he did. All right. And yeah, this guy will stomp, 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 Wait. and Stop. yeah, get hit in the face. <laughs> Stop. They move there. Yeah. So I guess he, well, he moved here, 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 here. So this is where he stops. Because he didn't want to stand in the, well, I guess that's actually gone, but whatever. That's where he ends up. Alright, that is a hit for 13 damage. Goodbye, most of his moonlight healing. And he shall answer your strike with his battle axe. Bonk. Miss. Also miss. Other giant. He's going to come up here, and he's going to try and smash Zans out of his tree. So, whoop. All right. Well, I suppose... What's your, uh, what's your AC? I mean, I suppose he's a giant, so that he, he certainly can reach me. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to give you resistance to the damage since there's enough shit in the way to slow down his blow a bit. But you do need to make... Anyway? Yeah, because I already have my sword. That give me double resistance? Uh, yeah, let's say you take a quarter damage. Okay. And then well, you do need to make a acrobatics or athletics check DC 20. Jesus, fuck, I'm not making that. <laughs> yeah, and then you're going to fall. But you have slow fall, so I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah, I, I, I didn't make that. All right. Uh, what does slow fall do for you? Uh, lets me anytime I fall vertically, I can just minus forty-five damage right now from fall damage. All right. So you land on your feet. Boop. Yeah. And then he pounds you into the ground. What? Mm. Let's see what this is here. That yes. will hit, but only well. just barely. So if you want to go whistle. All right. He tries to pound you into the ground, but gets distracted by a goat whistle. Sira. Uh, let's have a think here. Uh, she's going to uh, shoot that priestess so she dies. Is will she take a death from the fire? Will she take damage from the fire that she's lying down in as well? Uh, so she'll take damage, but she won't take a death save since she gets. Uh, healing at the start of her turn, as well as the fire damage. Uh, but you can inflict a death save on her right now. Uh, it would go away when she gets healed and gets up anyway, so it's just not fucking worth it at all. Uh, there is no way for her to deal three to it at range. Um, should just shoot that fucking guy fighting Zanza. Alright. Uh, bonus stealth. Alright, you cannot see that. Uh, 15, 15 will actually hit. Cool, I had bless anyway, but it's cool. 7 and 16. Alright, that's enough to drop him again. Hooray! There, the earth shudders as yet another giantish body falls to the ground. And Scow, roll me 66. Ah, oh, goddammit. Sure... Yeah, there we go. You asked me to roll sixes. That was your first mistake. <laughs> Actually, it's, to be fair, if it were eights, then she'd have gotten, you know, six health. Yeah. All right, and six of that health goes away immediately from standing in fire. Uh, which she should not do, it turns out. And let's see. What can you do about any of this? So I think, first of all, she's going to use a special ability to teleport. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, she'll end up over here. And then she is going to... Do, 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 do. Let's see. Yeah, she is going to scythe Marcus. Swing, swing. So in her hand appears a scythe whose blade is pure moonlight that comes sweeping towards you. Uh, well, a 20 and 25 to hit. Well, I was going to try to coup de gras this guy, but now I have to go over and lock my sun blade against the moon blade. I mean... Because that is too awesome for me to pass up. Alright, uh, Sif gets I to make a death save. Come on, Sif, you can do it. You did it, buddy. You did it. You're still alive. Not for long. Not for long, but, you know... <laughs> You're gonna coup de gras Sif. Oh. Yeah, Tal's gonna stamp on his stupid dog ahead. Oh. Look, I like Sif normally, but you're not. I'm not letting you get away with making me like a random faceless monster. Not happening. Zanza, you're up. Mm, gotta lock moon blades though. Okay, but... Actually, it might be good to to do that since Marcus is so low. But right. The first one missed because does Mark have like 21 AC? I, I would assume Marcus knows what his own AC is. Nah, it's 20. It's um, plate mail's 18, and then I get plus one for the armor and plus one for the ring. So. Yep. That oh. speeds. Sorry. Alright, Zanza, what are you going to do? Alright. So. What I'm going to do right now is going to let's let's use some stunning fist. Let's uh let's let's go there. So uh, let's try to go over here and uh, whack this chick and try to get her stunned. So boop 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 boop. And let me take away the key point and let me try to attack. It's a fifteen hit. Uh, it sure does. All right, awesome. And drops her. Oh, Split. Oh, oh, that wasn't her. Who? Who's how far is that? Is that the horses? Yeah, that's the horses. Oh, that's the only reason why I wasn't <laughs> even trying a stunning attack. I was like, for some reason, she's at full HP. So you know. Okay, then then I'll just go over here and try to stunning fist this guy. <laughs> okay. Gotta jump up and judo chop him right in the neck. So here, Crest Hollow. All right, that's a hit. And he needs to make a con save. Oh, he fails. Wow, he that's impressive. All right, uh, Did yeah, the first he one gets miss? stunned and then probably beaten a bunch. Did that first one miss? Uh, uh, what do you mean? No, he hit two different enemies. Oh. Yeah. oh. Oh. Then I can move 30 feet, but I can't attack this guy. Fortunate. But, uh... I suppose I will stay vigilant with a patient defense. Wait, yeah, I didn't use my bonus action, so patient defense. Okay. And Marcus. Time to clean up. Well, uh... Sansa was kind enough to step in and take care of these things. I'll uh, use uh, Fortitude to store my health a little bit here. Uh, no, not that. The other thing about Fortitude. Uh, uh, the second one ability? The regen one. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, right here. And uh, that giant is stunned for the time being, so I will step over and try to banish this priestess back to the moon. Alright, a mighty Boop. two, and down she goes. 
Once again, she screams in horror as she is banished. Back Moon does not seem like a very fun place to go. I will step in front of this guy with uh, Frida and take my last swing on. Alright, with advantage. Down he goes. Blip. And Mary. Oh, actually, uh, uh, negate that last one. I forgot. Using Fortitude is a bonus action, so I couldn't take my um, bonus strike. Oh, all right. He's, he's, then he's uh, up. Yeah, still up. Just stunned. Mm. Magic missiles. All right. Who are you targeting? One and then two. All and right, you kill Sif, the last monster. On the big one. Goodbye, enemy forces. All right, uh, how much damage does the the last one? one do? It looks like four damage. Okay. And since you cast it at a higher level, where do you want the fourth missile to go? That was the. F oh wait, one, two, three. Yeah, you have one more. So I hit one into the little into the into the into Doggo. Into Doggo, and he died. And then died. two into this guy. Okay. And then the last one into the this guy over here. Okay. All right. Oh uh, wait, doesn't he take? Wait, don't you get take two negative death saving throws when you get hit? Only from melee attacks. Range attacks. Oh, only the one. I didn't. Okay, then all three are going to go into this guy. Okay, that makes. So sense. I don't want him getting back up. Okay, I didn't. I thought I didn't realize that it was ranged attacks were treated differently for that. I've never hit someone who was yeah saving throws. Yeah. All right, and Annika, who's ready for NPC kill steals? Fuck yeah, that's the running theme of this whole fucking everything. Yeah, multiple campaigns. Come on, Roll Tony, you can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> there we go. And she had advantage because he's stunned, so that's a crit. And he takes many damages. Uh, let's see. I guess Kresha will have to do three death saving throws to him, unfortunately. Yeah, alright. I do a level three magic missile and it dies. Alright. Combat over. Forest is, however, on fire. Level three, or level two, whatever. Whichever one does three fucking level one. Level one is already three missiles. Yep. All right. Lap. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Hmm. All right. And now I'm going to uh, start fucking just like thunder blasting forest fires away. Does this darkness end then? Uh, the darkness does not end, but the moon seems to recede from the sky somewhat. Oh, right, because it's, natural, it is actually you know, nighttime. Yeah, okay. it's, it's twilight. <laughs> so do you the think they just away. crept upon us, or uh, they jumped out of the moon and are really good at landing? Well, from, from what intelligence has said, they are, in fact, surprisingly sneaky. True, although maybe they think that they're just sneaky because these dicks keep, like, you know, piling out of the darkness mm. and using the moon. Hard to say. So we should put out the fires, right? I've never yeah, yeah, I already said I'm, I'm going to start just, like, doing some firework, like, booming blades some trees oh, apart. Oh, hey, and yada, oh, yada, right, yada, yada. I forgot about that. I can, oh, wait, hang on a second. I can just... Whoosh. That's the wrong spell. That's the That's opposite. The Don't set extra the fire. Opposite. That's this is the one I want. Okay. All right. <laughs> that is a cantrip. Yeah, you sort of start snuffing them out like a bunch of candles. Yeah, right. I can, in fact, put fires out as well as make lots of fires. Blessed. I didn't need to even cast blessed. That that didn't actually affect any roll at all. 
party Hold either on. turbo mist or hit real good. Yeah. Hey. Z Z sorry, shit, I was muted. Zanzo will state that uh, he is sad that this is probably signs that negotiations won't happen. Especially since even after getting back up after defeat, they just kept trying to kill us. I don't think there was ever, I don't think negotiations were really ever on the table. No. I, I was hopeful. I mean, to be fair, the opening maneuver was a moonbeam in your face. I gotta say, after uh, everybody saying kobolds are okay and uh, goblins and orcs deserve to live with everybody else, it is kind of weirdly cathartic to encounter a species Legit that is evil. unapologetically Legit. evil. Yeah. yeah, you know what? I can agree with that. I do like that there's very little to no moral quandary, especially when they're the ones who keep shucking out the darkness to attack first. That's I mean, it reasonable. feels bad to say it, but I do kind of agree. It feels well, bad to say it, but it feels really good to feel it. If there's ultimate evil, uh, just look at it as there is also ultimate good. So uh, if everything is shades of gray, then perhaps what we thought was good and valuable and uh, untainted might actually have some uh, dark, deep, dark secrets. But, you know, these moon guys are totally in the wrong here. So clearly there, there's just uh, awesome good things, too. Yep. It's not as if we can maybe stop we'll, now. Maybe we'll find ones that don't suck. But yeah, these guys will disintegrate, right? So there's no, no thing yep, to no like, load or, or examine. Or anything. <laughs> what about the doggos? I would like to take some time looking at them since they didn't seem to vaporize. Or did they once they failed? Or uh, no, the doggos were physical creatures. They just lay there dead. Okay, cool. Um, I confess I'm not amazing at this particular branch of the sciences. Or maybe I am. Fucking, I don't know. Anatomical. Yeah. Not, yeah. Uh, I can do an arcana on them, but I don't know. I'll give it a fucking go. If there's something magical about them. I will cast a look over them with my withered eyes. Uh, while doubtless a product of some sort of magical influence, uh, these beings do not radiate an active magic at this point in their uh, deceased existence. Okey and your arcane knowledge does not tell you anything about them. Uh, you've never heard of such things before, and likely nobody has in the world. Sure. All right. Um, when like night rolls around, I'm gonna start warning people who I believe are in com going to be combating the giants that they just sort of like jump out of a suddenly approaching moon, and also it will just heal them, and they'll get up and start swinging. So finish them the moment they drop. That's probably why people have been struggling and mentioning that they seem extra resilient. Mm hmm. All right, yeah, you can burn your remaining spell slots getting the word out to people. Yep, you just want to make sure that all the people are in the, in the nosy, so there's no, like, if, when the inevitable fight happens, then NPCs are, like, dropping them and then moving on. I'm like, no, you fools, I, you know this thing now. Do it right. All right. Kick away the dick when they fall. Brutal. Deserved. All right, so unless you guys have anything else you'd like to do... Uh, here at the site of your battle, uh, we can move on to three days from now when you arrive at Dragon's Rest. Though I do hope you're rolling on that good time. The table there, Sam. He did them preemptively, remember? No. Uh, I did uh, them preemptively of you getting to the Ogre family. I guess uh, the Giants were the encounter it. on the first day, so sure, I'll roll you two more encounters. Why not? <sighs> Uh -huh. Nope, nope. And, uh, oh, that's okay. a shame. You would have uh, gotten a fun encounter. Oh, well. All encounters are fun encounters, save it, until they aren't. Yeah, there's no given that we need to do a few shits during the encounters that we've been missing. More than likely, there's not going to be another hut for a while. All right, so... The party arrives at the outskirts of Dragon's Rest a uh, little after noon on the seventh day of your journeys. Uh, upon arrival, you can see all the way down from the foot of the mountain that there is a bustle of activity up on this fortress's ramparts. And 
flying proudly, you can see a purple flag bearing Kalira, or Kinara's holy symbol fluttering in the afternoon breeze. Nice. Sweet. That's a really delightful thing to see right there. A oh, group. shit, we're already here. Yeah? Yep. She's like, we're almost too early. <laughs> No, we, we didn't. Uh, in five rolls, not a single random encounter was rolled. Suppose things go fast when you don't have to run into giants. Yeah, yeah you guys managed to avoid any further encounters with the Fear Thuin and other assorted nasties and arrive at the fortress unmolested. And well, so. Some members of the party are like slightly molested, but. Well, yeah, I mean, serious. you and Mary, but. Yeah. Other than that. Mm. Hold on one second. Tasha, no. Uh, so Papa, you see a group of paladins clad in uh, purple uh, vests and uh, hauberks descending down the mountain path towards you. Uh, several of them have halberds or ran sewers uh, held at their side. And the uh, head of the group, uh, a probably late middle-aged cat folk, maybe 50 or so, pulls off a uh, gold-embossed purple helm, tucks it under an arm, and greets you all with a bow and says, Greetings. You must be the uh, heroes, friends of Sir Marcus, we were told to expect. Yes. Hey, hey old fellows. Yes, uh, we are here indeed. Uh, you've done a magnificent job of... Uh, restoring things and getting things up to uh, code here. We're just here to oversee the last little bit, and we bring blessings from the uh, the lady herself. Well, that we could righteously use. I'm afraid there's been a bit of a problem. Uh, it's not oh, safe to go into the temple proper now. Uh, didn't we already clear out this temple? What happened? What happened? Uh, when we arrived here, we encountered a paladin of our order. One Lady Regina, I believe you are acquainted. Yes, yeah, we've got good news for her, too. Yes, well, unfortunately, the beast has turned feral. She has killed one of our priests and dragged her to the lower levels. We've uh -oh. spent the past two days trying to flush her out, but to no avail. He's a fearsome fighter, that one. Wait, what happened? What do you mean, go on, Pharaoh? She was so behaved and nice last time we checked on her. Things were looking better. Uh, she seemed a proper lady at first, but true to her nature, she gave in to bloodlust, I suppose. Uh, as no. I said, she killed a priestess in cold blood. Well, Let's get it. Find, you have to find her and get her to get her the cure. Yep. Let us in. I'll make sure to sort all this out. I caution you, friends. I would not go down there if I was you. She is a fearsome fighter. A true vampire. It's fine, really. If vampires were enough to stop us, then we would have quit our quest a long time ago. Don't worry. We'll make sure to set things right. As you say... Uh... Follow me. I'll get you down to the lower levels, at least. And what? so you follow... How long ago did this happen? Two days. Since then, we've been trying to flush her out of the catacombs, but... Every time we try, we are met with fearsome resistance. She's injured several of our men, though. Luckily, none since the priestess have fallen to their deaths. Okay. So yeah, he and a group of knights will escort you down to uh, the inner sanctum of the temple. Please be careful, knights. Hey, this is as far as we go. Uh, here, and he'll indicate a blot of dried blood on the ground. This is where the crime happened. We were 
just about to rededicate the sacred well. Then, well, I don't know what came over her, but Regina attacked a priestess from behind, tore her throat out, and dragged her into the shadows. An awful sight. We'll get answers. Well, they've been depraved. Uh, also, uh, depraved of any form of social interaction for so long. As you say, I can't speak to her reasons, just the efficacy of her murder. Well, some degree of uh, her crime is mitigated, perhaps, by the curse she's undergone. But, of course, uh, when she is restored to humanity, there is a degree of uh, penance that will have to take place. But uh, for the time being, we have to make sure that we can uh, talk some sense into her. Hey. Uh, to, to the south, you say? I believe so. That's the furthest we've gotten. It will point towards a bit of shattered wall to the south. All right. Oh, yeah, Oscar is still not here. She said she was to the south, correct? Mm hmm. Yeah. This is not. Mira's going to stay and keep an eye on everyone here. Should okay. give everyone a bite away. If just as she have we, seen, have we seen this blood before? No, this is, while not fresh, it's probably a couple of days old, it uh, was certainly not quite this bloody in this passage last time you were here. Oh, yes, you, the you, hole. I remember the hole. Can there. you give me, uh, like, at least a 10 foot vision cone uh, for yeah. light? Sure. I don't have that apparently. And Zenz will put a hand on Marcus's shoulder and goes, I think she likes you the best, Marcus. You should take point and talk to her, try talking to her. All right. Uh, Marcus, when you get about there, you begin to hear a banshee-like wail echoing from deeper within the cavern. I don't even know where Marcus is. Uh, it's a linear path, so... Okay. I was making sure since I remember that trap was there. We'll move back. All right, Marcus, you can just see the faint outline of a body propped up against the edge of the mausoleum here. A great deal of dried blood is smeared across the floor. It looks as if she's been exsanguinated. Ah. That is unfortunate. Yeah, the, the wailing only grows in intensity as you approach the sarcophagus, and indeed, you see Regina, the paladin in her ancient armor, her ransour lying beside her, kneeling in front of the sarcophagus and wailing in anguish. And yet, as you approach, the clatter of your armor on the cobblestones causes her to rise up and spin towards you, her blade at hand. Lady Regina, uh, I have good news and bad news. Man, I can't see for shit. Oh, gods. I had not hoped to see you again. Please, go. Uh, well, obviously what you've done is... Uh, terrible, but I mean, you are cursed by Lord Winter, and uh, we bring good news from uh, the All Mother, the Creator God, the original dragon. Uh, we have a cure. Uh, a cure? Yes, with uh, this, I'll brandish the scale shield. We can restore your humanity to you. Uh, obviously, you were not in your proper senses when you murdered that priestess, but uh, I believe that Kanara will uh, take pity on you, and uh, with some degree of atonement, you can perhaps regain the uh, favor 
that uh, you once had and try to make amends for your crime. Marcus, is there redemption to be had for cold-blooded murder? Well, according I, to us. Oh. I tried oh, so out. hard to resist, but when that priestess cut herself upon the stones, the scent of blood, it, it was intoxicating. I could not restrain myself. Miss Regina, there's always a chance for forgiveness. Forgiveness you just need the right is different than redemption. For... Well, I have uh, full faith that Kanara will forgive you in time and uh, with the proper good works and uh, the proper atonement, uh, I believe that uh, the people of this temple may well forgive you as well. Uh, the hardest forgiveness, I'm afraid, is you forgiving yourself. But uh, that is something that you will have to work towards. We are fighting a terrible uh, catastrophe from the skies, well as more earthly concerns. The necromancer is close at hand, and giants from the moon seek to destroy all life. I can appreciate that you are not feeling great about what you've done, but uh, for the time being, there are far greater thoughts uh, to busy yourself on. Save your pity for yourself and uh, your feelings of vulnerability for once uh, the uh, world itself is saved. And uh, perhaps in fighting against these terrible evils, you can learn to forgive yourself for uh, succumbing to the insidious curse that has held you at its thrall for so long. All right, uh, Marcus, make a persuade check. Oh, oh. Hang on, uh, I got you can here. have advantage from Mary. No, no, no. I got this for you. Yeah, Bardic. and Bardic. Yeah, fucking pile it up. Pull a box. And I'll be back in a bit myself. Everything. Yes, come on. Get them dice out. Just one from me, unfortunately. Marcus. A mighty 29, Jesus. Woof. All right. Marcus is best friend. Best friend, most good. Uh, follow up to that, Marcus, would you please roll a perception check? Uh, do, do, do. Uh, first uh, thing. Get from Hispanic. All right. Well, uh, so yeah, you uh, hear Regina mumble something as she puts a hand on the sarcophagus behind her, and she turns to you and says, "I hope you're right, Sir Marcus, but." I fear, even if this curse is somehow broken, I will forever be tainted by this crime. Murder will forever Nonsense. live in my heart, but if you believe I am better served in penance fighting these monsters for you, then I owe you that much, at least. And she will take a step down onto the uh, platform just above you. Wonderful. I'll uh, offer her my hand to uh, help her down the last step. Alright. Uh, you clasp your gauntlet in hers, and though you can just feel her hand trembling below the surface, she will take an elegant step down to your level. And no, Frida, you do not hear uh, anything. You are much too far away. Okay, so, uh, anybody have any idea what we're supposed to do with Sinatraya's, uh, Sinatraya's scale here? I just said, uh, it helped I fix think the... I just have to thing. give it to her. Touch her. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I guess I'll do ceremony here. Lady Regina, do you renounce vampirism? Have you, uh, in your heart the capacity to restore yourself to humanity? 
to uh, embrace the mortality that comes with such things and uh, to serve Kanara, her mother, and uh, all the peoples of this land in a uh, valiant undertaking of heroism to uh, uh, defeat evil and uh, the other things that Kanara's on about, you know, the whole uh, reproduction stuff. Smooth. If you would have me, then yes. Fantastic. I, I do. Then uh, I present you with this scale. Uh, I'll hand it off. All right. She takes the dragon scale. There's a long pregnant pause in the air. Is it? Is it? Is it doing anything? I don't think so. We probably should have figured out how this thing worked uh, while we were in the floating city. Uh, magic peoples, any, any ideas? Mary, you uh, you were sent a for a, a hot minute there. Uh, I mean... Hmm. So it's still off. Doesn't it? Does 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 it help? Eighteen Arcana. Well, uh, eighteen yeah. Arcana. This scale appears to hold a spell within it. You will probably need to activate it through a bit of divine magic. Oh, oh, uh, Marcus. Divine juju. Do you uh, cast your? Do you do a, do a paladin thing at it? I'm an arcane caster. You okay. cast your blessings through the through the shield. To, Legi to Lady Regina. I will take off my gauntlet, uh, put a hand on the shield that she's holding, and schwa. I'll infuse it with ceremony. All right. Indeed, you do. Which takes an hour. It's a very long schwa. Oh, yeah. Maybe a different... Uh, let's try... Uh, <laughs> uh, try uh, it's try it. It's it. It. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, that one. <laughs> okay. Uh... <clears throat> Marcus, you are infused with a surge of quite literally divine power, that of a wish spell. You may choose to use this to break Regina's curse, if you so choose. Or uh, do anything else a wish can do. Before we do that, uh, uh, I'll pause in the middle of the ceremony. Uh, Regina, you didn't turn the princess, uh, priestess, did you? No. I don't believe I have that power. Oh, good. I was afraid, you know, we'd get more vampires right in the middle of this thing and I'd undo the whole thing and it'd be very ironic. Okay. Uh, where we go. Uh, yes, so. Infuse it with divine energy and uh, I will use this in uh, Sinatra's name to remove the curse that uh, Lord Winter placed on Lady Regina, restore her to the fullness of health as she was when uh, the curse was foot first put on her, and allow her to serve Kanara uh, for the remainder of her days and to uh, do what she can to you know, be a brave paladin of uh, what, what a healing um, you know, Kanara's yeah. domains. Courage, Very camaraderie, fun. and uh, reproduction stuff. Okay. <laughs> Courage, camaraderie, and reproduction stuff. There you go. Well done. It was, right. You did fine, Narcus. It was a fine <laughs> So there's a, a trembling in the air. The shattered rocks and stones of this collapsed grave shift slightly as the earth rumbles and a gust of wind whips through the place carrying with it the smell of blood and decay and Regina gasps clutching at her heart and she stumbles back from you collapsing to her knees for a moment and you can see the dark pallor over her begin to fade away that 
uh, redness in her eyes, the shadows all around her, burn away. And she is left a trembling, plate-armored human woman once more. All signs of vampirism gone. Wow. How we're feeling. That was awesome. It's strange. I feel warm again. I can smell again. I smell you. I see you as more than just blood and bones. And that's uh, that's a good uh, good start there. Yes, for sure. Probably weird to have your heart start beating after all these years. She will nod, and then you can see tears welling up in her eyes. I'm just going to replace her token here. And yeah, she will uh, cup her hands to her cheeks and begin to cry. That's it. Have a good cry out. It's fun. <laughs> just it's hug the Marcus. Been a long have... It's probably been a long time since you've been able to. Marcus, get in there and hug. Hug the yeah, Marcus hug a little while. Yeah, go on. Uh, yeah, I'll uh, offer her a um, shoulder to cry on with a, a hug there. All right, yeah, uh, despite the two suits of plate armor separating your bodies, Regina will yeah, clink and hold you tight as she balls her eyes out into your uh, shoulder. I don't know why it's the Jurassic Park theme that is the one stuck in my head for this dramatic moment. Well, yeah, because these two dinosaurs can finally, you know, bring <laughs> the human race back. Uh, Except... Nice. Oh, except, except. It, it might have to be done with a a, a glass and a turkey baster. Because <laughs> you know, got to do all that reproductive stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I just realized with the wording of that, you did kind of make it sound like you planned to bone her. Uh, no, I. No, that that was different. To join us in greatness and, you know, do all that important I mean, It's probably stuff. how Regina took it, but... Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't know which direction you happen to swing in. It really did sound like you were like, by the way, you know, part of those duties include a bang sesh. No, it's more of a... You know, don't worry about it. Anyway. Yeah, so, turkey based stuff. We'll put a fake uh, bait on that. So, um, yes, well, uh... I tend to, uh, once Lady Regina is feeling herself, uh, then I will actually do a ceremony to uh, lay the priestess to rest here with uh, funeral rites. Okay. Yeah, that is probably a good idea, just in case. So, she is permanently dead. Mm hmm. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, go tell the priest those. I can kind of move my token around, but all the way up. Like, by the way, everything's mm -hmm. handled. Hooray. Give them the update. Uh, yeah. Christian, why don't you make an insight check for me? Sure, I'd love to. Uh, if I've got my spoon with me, advantage. Never mind. Alright. Uh... I drink the secrets from his flesh. Yeah, when you get back to uh, Sir Albus and the other knights, give them the uh, the sit rep here. Uh, you are quickly reminded that these are not paladins of the redemption goddess, and no, mentioning that yeah, we totally cured Lady Regina. It's, everything's fine now. Uh, I, you can I, definitely I, see you, like some knuckles. Would you like me to knuckles. give you the real the real wording then? I you know, no, I, I I get what you're saying, but. Like, they're yeah. still not happy that someone who murdered one of their friends is just being let go. I'll say, it's not like she's being let go. And considering this was kind of a 
a thing that the goddess herself asks us to help with. Uh, and I mean, she will be of an incredibly great help in ceremonizing this place back to the light. She's from that era and was subjected to a rather terrible evil. I know that forgiveness isn't going to be a thing that happens, especially not easily, but this is a chance for penance to happen, and I just ask for patience instead of forgiveness. Uh, all right, make a persuade check. Uh, good. I'm great at those, but I'm not. Actually, I'm not terrible. 15. Okay. Uh, with a begrudging sigh, uh, Sir Albus will settle his helmet back on his head and say, Very well. I cannot claim to forgive the lady for what she has done, but if she is remanded into your care and taken far from this place, I will not hold her any ill will. Then tell you what, there's a treat pending. How would you like to see a dragon born? As in, dragon be born, sorry, from an egg. All the knights and paladins sort of look up at that, eyes wide. Fuck yeah, bitches. What, what do you mean? Well, that would be spoiling the surprise. But that Lady Regina down there happens to have in her care protected for all of the time that she has been down there in the darkness alone with the terrible curse until we came along to, you know, assist with that whole matter in the first place. A dragon egg. An actual, no fucking kidding, dragon egg. And it's still alive after all these years. It needed a little helpful nudge along the way. Uh, it was dormant for a very long time. But I think you'd be very pleased with the result. Yes, please, sir. Uh... But you have to wait and see. That means, you know, ceremony time first. Of course, of of course. And yeah. he will shout for his fellows to get to work. Yeah, uh, if I remember rightly, it is that the ceremony to be completed for the egg to do its wakey wakey, right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully that'll uh, soothe, soothe the bumps somewhat. Yeah, a millennium vigil is what she had to go through. Sat there in the knowledge that she was dead and a failure to her goddess so far as she was concerned. She a fucking raw deal, but you know. Yeah, I mean, Regina's had uh, had a bad time of it. That's for sure. All right, so let me just gather up some tokens here. Uh, do you guys want to do anything with the priestess's body, or do you Ew. just like send just send the knights to collect it? We um, we I cleaned will... it up, and uh, Marcus went through the whole ceremony of ritual funeral rites. Okay, so yeah, the knights will come and like give it a proper burial later. I'm going to recommend a burning regardless, although it's protected for now from being risen. There's still a necromancer threat there to the south, and everyone knows that right now bodies are a bad thing to keep tooling around. Oh yeah, they, everyone burns bodies just as a standard practice nowadays. Cool. It's just the stupid elves from yesteryear that buried their dead. And, uh, it's all their fault that necromancers can be a thing now. No, they can't all be winners. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. Uh, Regina will just, like, go stand in the shadows somewhere away from everyone else. As uh, Marcus and Sir Albus and the other uh, Canariate Paladins will come up to the uh, the Sacred Well, the heart of this temple. And begin the rites. Uh, basically, all of you are just going to be casting ceremony at the same time. Uh, as you do this, though, you have a dragon egg in your possession. It is fertilized. What would you like to do with it? 
We should lay it in the middle of the pool. Yeah, seems like the place for it. Make sure that water is nice and warm, That's... though. It is a Crispo dragon. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'll uh, give everyone a heads up to watch out for steam, because uh, dragon, you know, cause a little boiling when he uh, pops out. It's gonna get hot. I could preemptively warm the water, if you like. It'd probably be nice. You don't want to give it, like, fucking <laughs> uh, temperature shock. No, think about it. Yeah, I'm going to all warm the water with some fire, some produced flame, and some controlling flame. All right, so it gets uh, it a little up. bit steamy in there. Yeah, it's like a nice warm bath. There we go. <laughs> Once again, another ancient dinosaur being brought back to life. Uh, so yeah, the collected paladins uh, and Marcus will gather round, uh, cast their ceremonies upon this temple. Uh, it is a hour-long ritual, uh, if anyone has anything they'd like to do or say. Uh, while they are busy. I think I will try to give Regina some peace of mind. I'll talk to her about redemption and st her redemption and stuff. Try and give her hope. Nice. Uh, I mean, you yeah. are a professional redemption prosthetizer. Prosthetizer. Yeah. So when the sun god was talking about how she didn't wish for redemption, it was because she didn't forgive herself. Not because she was trying to actively deny the righteous path. Hmm? Different vampire. No. Oh. Wait, we know two? No, I can't. Yeah, three. Yeah, remember the one in air well, well, Now we know two. smashed my face. There's Rowan Oh, well, yeah, not her, not Winter. her. Oh, wait, were yeah, we no, trying to get her redeemed? Well, no, that was just a... No, the priestess. Down by, uh... I... What's name? Winter. Remember? I did talk to she her. was the oh, high priestess of all life. Some priestess of World War, high priestess, but apparently, next to August. Apparently, August. back in the day, she did some kind of um, blood sacrifices. Wolvar didn't like it and cursed her with to be a vampire for her going on 13. Hundred plus years now. Her house was made very. Uh, it spent some time looking opulent and imperial. So yeah, uh, Mary, do, if you want, you can give me a persuade or a religion check. And yes, Freddy, you can absolutely like play some religious uh, choral music in the background. Yeah, it's squad wow. of goats. Wow. wow. Okay. I, I'm right. not having it. That's a ten. The wound is too fresh. Yeah. No. She. Like, needs... it, if we were in the real world, she would probably be on suicide watch for the next several years, but uh, for right now, okay, she's yeah, she, she's, okay, she's not coming with so us, so I'll, I'll, I'll work on it. For fuck's sake, roll 20. Can't let, you can never let me have it. You never let me get, have the redemption thing. You only has to fucking sandbag me. Turns out Mary really is suited to be the champion of uh, the war god. Yeah. Alright. And so at the end of the hour, as a surge of divine magic washes across the temple, uh, you all feel an intense heat, at first in your hearts, but then spreading out through your entire bodies like you've suddenly stepped out into a hot summer's day. And then this shadow that had laid upon the temple that you hadn't even realized was there, this preternatural darkness lingering from Lord Winter's reign, begins to recede and break. Light once more lingers in this place, the shadows beaten back, and the egg at the center of it all, propped up in the middle of this steaming pool 
begins to tremble. Little uh, hairline fractures form around the shell, and then one little point just cracks upwards. Peck, 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 peck. Real quick, then this is going to look up in the sky and go, You're a real dick, Lord Winter. <laughs> But we have a dragon baby being born. Yeah. And so over the course of the next like 10 minutes, everyone sort of gathers in around this egg. And eventually a tiny uh, copperish red head with a frill of black scales across its brow breaks its way out of the eggshell and looks around, blinking giant golden eyes at you. Aww, it's adorable. Who do you think thinks it's his, it's daddy or mommy? Yeah, that's a good question. Who's who's the first person this thing sees? Who's closest to it? Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Frida yeah. on purpose pushed no. Marcus towards the, the child. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> she aimed, she she fucking aimed at the moment. That's a yep. smart goater right there. All right, yeah, Marcus just like thinks he tripped and sort of stumbles forward just as the head pops out, and these two big gold eyes just lock on you, full of wonder and awe at the world. And then the rest of this little wormling squirms out of its egg and flops down into the water and f starts thrashing around. It's so cute. I wonder what kind of dragon it is. Come on, Marcus. You should go pick it up. I'll uh, go in there and uh, pick up the little guy. All right. I think I've got some uh, meat rations in here somewhere. Yeah, so you, you pick him up like a dog. He's probably the size of uh, a golden retriever coming out of the egg. Just a little old dude. And yeah, as soon as you feed him some meat, he'll just snap it up out of your hands and little trickles of flame leak out of the sides of his mouth. He'll Marcus. Him down. The porkers are just both... Ee! You can't just feed a newborn baby solid food. I might not what? be able to take it. No, I mean, I'm pretty sure is... dragons do that. Hmm. They don't have nipples, Zanza. Yeah. Well, they usually don't have nipples. Neither do birds. They still have to chew their food for the chicks. Carpies. Carpies eat cock. That doesn't count. I'm going to be honest with you, Zanza. I'm not super uh, educated on the whole babies thing. Here, I'll make sure to help you. I had to nurse many sisters and brothers coming up. <laughs> nurse them how? Sorry. Couldn't help yourself, could you? No. No, I could not. I think we've well, covered this about me ad nauseum. Well, I'll spend uh, inspiration because I feel like I'm going to fail this otherwise to make a medicine check. Just a quick glance over. Uh, only 16. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, it's... Uh tiny dragon. It looks remarkably like Castronex, the same sort of scale coloration over most of its body, though many of its scales are a sort of singed black color as well. Uh, it doesn't seem to have any obvious deformities or uh, defects that you can spot. Uh, it, I guess certainly we'll seem, it. it certainly seems to lap up any meat you feed it, and indeed tries to eat Marcus's fingers if he lets them linger too long. It has sharp mm -hmm. little needle murder teeth. We'll have, to we'll have to train him out of that. So I can make the educated guess with his murder teeth that he can eat solid food. Oh yeah, yeah, he's shredding Marcus's rations. Okay. <makes> well, he should be fine with that. I wonder if we should leave him somewhere with Castronex. At least for the time being. Uh -huh. As you say that, know. the little wormling is like finished eating three whole rations worth of meat and just nuzzles its head into Marcus's cloak and goes to sleep. 
Hmm. Oh. It's, a, it's adorable, oh. but it's worrying to it's worrying to carry around a child in our adventures. <laughs> Do you share glances with my also pregnant Just wife boys. and your daughter, who's standing? And I've you. never, and yeah. I've only stopped, and I've only stopped complaining because it's become redundant. Doesn't make it a better idea. I will also, yeah, ruffle my daughter. Scritchy, scritchy, scritchy. Besides, Sarah is a full-grown woman who's undergoing training, but the baby can't start yet. Hmm. Well, I suppose it's just going to be a hazard we have to deal with if nobody wants to leave him behind. You're going to have to be more careful oh, about getting hit, Marcus, especially if the little lizard is going to be on your back. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how you're supposed to carry these uh, these guys around. Is there like a little leather papoose you, you put around, or how does that work? I'll make something while we travel on the road. Uh, so well, this is kind of... Oh, we need to make a dragon question. papoose. But, uh, so is a little guy a guy or a girl? Well, uh, check the cloaca. Yeah, I mean it. It has a cloaca. Uh, I, I mean, I did a medicine check. No. Yeah, but you do, you're no. not, none of your siblings had cloaca. <laughs> I and y'all don't we'll know that. Didn't specify. Figure that out when uh, yes. Cass next comes around. The time uh, being, we'll just call call the guy Cass because that's uh, less gender neutral. Yeah. Uh, if any of you have uh, nature, you want to roll. You can maybe identify its gender based on its horns and frills. Uh, no idea. <laughs> Is tiny baby androgynous dragon? Still no idea. Twenty, None of you have ever seen a tiny baby dragon before. Hmm. That is indeed true. We've only seen adult dragons. And only one of them. Well, two, I guess, counting Senator no, Dragon now. Two. Uh, uh, well, okay. anyway. Little, uh, you will figure it out. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Mary, roll me a D3. It is a little girl dragon. Okay, so there's boy, girl, and a whore. Okay? That's no. Wow. Wow. Boy, girl, and Apache helicopter. Uh... <laughs> All right, well, I uh, know Castanex had his heart set on Castanex, but uh, since that appears to be a male name, we'll, uh, we'll go with Cassandra. That's pretty close. I like it. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. How are all the fucking paladins and priests looking? Yeah, their eyes are wide and full of awe at this tiny little deity symbol crawling amongst them now. Uh, several of like, the female paladins are trying not to squee in the background. <laughs> Even with the puppers but being like, yay, yay. Hey, they're paladins. They have to show some decorum. Yeah. How's Lady Regina looking? Uh, she is fighting back tears in the background. Though these oh. you recognize are tears of joy. Yeah, this is this is her vigil come to fruition. Yes, indeed. And indeed, I'll uh, take a little cast. Over to Lady Regina. Say, so you uh, watched over her for most of her uh, pre-life here, so uh, makes sense. You should get a chance to hold her and uh, take care of her now. Aww. No. Yeah. <laughs> Fighting back tears, Regina will lift up Cass and sort of that Lion King pose, holding him up to the light. Uh, and it'll yeah. the little dragonling will just burp fire in her face. <laughs> Good thing shield gets her resistance to fire. It does. So yeah, she just like brushes a little bit of uh, singed hair out of her face and then starts laughing and holds a little dragonling close. Very satisfied. Oh. With this. I'm now waiting for the shoe to drop and just saving to fucking spoil how nice this has been. Yep, and then 3,000 fear through an attack. Mm. Well, you have one more reason to make sure to come back alive, Marcus. 
You want to come back so you can help raise Cass? I'd yeah. say we all have a, another reason to uh, fight off those necromancers and deal with this whole moon god uh, kerfluffle. Could what? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure everything will turn out fine. Hey, okay. Super races. And yeah, speaking of necromancers and moon kerfluffles. Sun sword. Before I put that away, remi remembering that it hurts me. Uh, I feel like that's a really good. This is like a really good spot. Yeah. While we when we camp here for the night, sorry, I should remember to do this before it's too late. I'm uh, break down that uh, RTSR. Uh, yeah, sure. You can go ahead and roll. I was saying, and, yeah, well, I like believe this is a good spot to. Great again! Oh, yeah, yeah, oh my is... god, I produce such fucking oh good residium every yeah. time. It's it's pure like Colombian residium. Yep. There's no cutting in this. Yeah, no, I produce. I so what are we gonna? Those... This is this is the third time I think I've crit on turning something into residium. Jesus. Yeah. So when are we gonna stop with the adventuring and just go into our true calling of fucking uh, magical drug lords? Uh, mean? I mean, that's how Stop. seventy-two almost ended. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh my god. God damn it, Hedra. Hedra literally did become fantasy drug lord. Although more like fantasy completely legal, legitimate uh, businesswoman that dealt in pharmaceuticals. What's that? What, what? Don't worry about it. Anyway, yeah, we are going to call it here. Uh, since that is a, a nice high note to end on, I believe you guys mm. wanted to go deal with the necromancer next time, which means... Now that you've got some paladins on your team, there might be some mass combat going on. So you mean we got paladin? Our 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 our, our teams coming in from the from the north. Then we've also got like the Ionan army mm -hmm. coming in from the south. Yeah. Then you got the Foxby Crusaders and whatever else comes out of the woodwork. Probably some dwarves. What are, what dwarves have are left? Yeah. Outside yeah. of Cardenhold. By the way, this is gonna sound crazy. But I would like to make an emergency bump of blue lightning with that. I I Wait, need a backup no, no, no. nuclear option. You oh, sure you want to make some nuclear stuff with residium, do you? No, no, no. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, but that thing would be me. It gets one shot, and I happen to have no two ninth level spells. Oh God, what what ninth level spells have you got recorded, Wait. by the way? Uh, wish and mass heal. Oh boy! I figured that I want. I, if I were to do, if, if Kresha were to put her life in danger with a bump of of, of uh, blue lightning, it would probably be to save a life. So I picked those two instead of you know the ones that kill everything instead. Should have gone with meteor storm. No, I mean that's someone else's fucking special. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Who has meteor? Why are we playing Final Fantasy? Why are we playing COC and D? Where's Where's Miss Boom? What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Never, cast it and no. never cast like that kind of a spell. No. Oh yeah, she did actually cast it like three times. No, meteor swerve? No, never. Not once. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. No, it never happened. Yes. No, yes. yes. She did oh, cast didn't. it like once. I don't think that happened. She she wanted to cast it every encounter, That's... but never did. Just like I, I think it came up like it was once. like two in the cavern. And one no. in the castle. No, that, that was spell, Firestorm. That spell never, ever got cast. Anyway, regardless, uh, let's let's tally up some XPs, shall we? Uh, did you explore a new interesting location for the first time? Not really. Did you discover an yeah, interesting... No. Yeah. Actually, no, because we got to see the ogre camp now. It's, it's been constructed into a real, like, tax village. You know, that's that's fair, actually. Yeah, you, you have the ogre village now. Huh. Or and ogre Viking shack. longhouse. So, yeah, the shag shack. <laughs> yeah, uh, Jeffrey shag shack. Oh God. Uh, did you discover a new and interesting truth about the world? Uh, corks exist. <laughs> See, Jeffrey is cool. the gift that just keeps on giving. Yeah, really thanks is. for that extra point of experience, buddy. We literally just saw a new race come into existence. I don't know. It's hard to top that mm -hmm. when you think of it. <laughs> Uh, did you make a new ally or a lasting enemy? Dragon! Yes. Yeah, you have little baby Cass. 
Uh, so that definitely counts. Uh, did you advance or complete a quest? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You yeah. Uh, completed uh, Regina quest, basically. And, and also, you know, the god and... quest. Yeah, and, <laughs> and a, a deity quest, so good stuff there. Did you neutralize a direct threat to the Queen's Peace? Yeah, and like a yeah. decent chunk of forest. Yeah, yeah, you shredded some fucking giants. So Dude, that really is cool a fight. mighty 5 XP <laughs> for cool everybody. Fight. That was a fucking banger. It yeah. was good. I, I'm, I was very happy with with Mage Mortar team. <laughs> you did good, team. Did yeah, I've, good. Yeah, I feel like throwing out... like uh, I've, I'm sure I've used the reference to like a bunch of mages just throwing a shit ton of fireballs into a group before as like a mortal thing, but I've never gotten to do it. That was very... Oh, that was delightful. <laughs> yeah, the fucking... Yeah. Arcan right. Artillery. Well, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for playing. Hope you had some fun, and thank you guys on stream and YouTube for watching. See you next time. Have a good one.